Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Resonut. Gosh, it's been a couple weeks. I've just been fighting a really bad cold, but hopefully you can hear me okay. And I am back to do a little koi pond um, tray. Okay. This is, I believe, a seven inch tray. Yes, seven inch tray. <clears throat> so Anyway, I've done several of these and I'm excited to show you what I do. I know that there's probably a lot of videos of this kind of a thing out there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one of my little cut up um, water bottles and I've got some resin made up here. I'm using J Diction regular epoxy resin and I'm going to put in about, I think about two ounces or so see I just want see there's two ounces there maybe about three actually well there's about two and a half okay and I think that's going to be enough I just want enough to cover the bottom of my tray so what I want to do is I am going to be using these are white rocks terrarium fill rocks that I got at Target they're um this was probably April or so um, here in Arizona in those bins right when you walk in the door. You know how they have things? Well, they had um, different colored rocks. So I got a couple of those. I got these from Michael's um, from Recollections. These are my koi fish. I'm going to be using some moss from the floral department from the craft store. And then I've got some various um like translucent backed stickers or decals okay there's some like pieces of leaves i've got um some different sizes of lily pads and these have all come from amazon as well as the mold here okay so i am going to get started by adding some cast and white cast and craft to my white just because I'm not real sure um, how much of these rocks I'm going to be using, I wanted to make sure that my background is opaque. And we're going to be working from the bottom up. So that's going to be kind of nice. We don't have to work upside down. The top is going to be our top. So we can kind of see how it's looking as we go. So let's see here, let me get a craft stick. Stir this cast, cast and craft in here really well. I just want it opaque, an opaque white. That's all I'm looking for right now. Okay, there we go. That's stirred in pretty well, it looks like. Hoping it's gonna be enough to cover this bottom. Let me do a quick spray of alcohol in there. Not too worried about too much bubbles. Um, since we're doing a water, gonna be kind of a water look anyway. This I'll put in. Don't wanna do too much just because this here is Gosh, I don't know, maybe about a half of an inch deep. And I want plenty of room to work around in this mold. So I'm just going to tilt it, make sure I've got it covered all the way around. And this will be our base. Looks like it might be just about enough to cover it. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and give it a spray of alcohol. And make sure it doesn't separate out anywhere here. 
um, got just a little piece of blue or something in there. Not that it's that big of a deal. We're going to cover it up anyway, but okay. So I'm going to let this cure. And what I'm probably going to do is put this in my curing machine and see if I can get this to cure kind of quickly. And then I'll be back for the next step. I'll see you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I put this in the curing machine and I thought it was completely level, but when I took it out, it was um, cured like this. And that's fine with me. Um, I'm not worried about it at all. I am just going to make do with what I've got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some, I'm gonna take my rocks and put them on one side and then I'm gonna take probably a few of these maybe and put them on the other side, this crushed shell. Okay, and I've got a little bit of this like crushed grass. Um, I picked up a couple of these. They've got like little flower petals and moss and little pieces of stuff in there. And these actually um, came from Tamu. I think this is the only thing that I'm using today that came from Tamu, okay? The rest of it, came from craft store or from Amazon or Target or something. So, okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually not that one. I've got about five and a half ounces or so of resin in this cup. I'm going to go ahead and pour some in here, kind of even that out. And just a little bit over here and on top of the white. Okay, all my sticks here, and I hope spread this out just a bit. So yeah, usually when I use my curing machine, the place I have it sitting, everything usually comes out completely level. So while I've been trying to organize a little bit in here, I probably moved it a bit and probably not exactly as level as what it used to be. <laughs> okay, so we've got everything pretty much covered, at least covered enough, and still have a good, gosh, a little more than probably, well, maybe about a third of an inch or so to work with going upwards here. I'm going to give it a quick spray. And get this opened. I don't really need this container. I can pour this into something else if I need to. Because that's going to be kind of a pain, I think. Don't want them to go flying everywhere. Gosh, there we go. Okay, but you see how nice and bright and white these rocks are. Um, I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rocks. Let's see. I think that's going to be pretty shallow. Let me look at my fish one more time. Here are my fish. And some of these are flatter than others. So I think what I'll do is I'll put my flat fish over here on the white side. And my double layered fish will go over here on this other side. And I'm gonna use just the flat, the flattest ones I can find of these shells for this part. And try to get this kind of in here kind of quickly. Actually, where's my tweezers? I need to turn some of these over. Some of the sides I want facing up or not. Let's see here. That might be pretty good for this. 
got it pretty well covered. Okay, there is that. I'll clean those up here in a minute. So let's see, how am I doing with height? I put these around in here. I think this should be okay. I can get them to stay over there. Doesn't need to be perfect. I want this as really one layer. Do not want these piled up on top of each other. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for that part of the resin. I mean, for that part of the rocks. So now I do want to add a little bit of this. I have a feeling that is really kind of like can go all over the place. I'm going to have to be really careful. I'm going to take my other tweezers here that I haven't used yet. And just like place a little bit of that in there. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my fish in before I do anything else to make sure I don't run out of room. And I can add lily pads and things as I have spots for them. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I've got this goldfish here. He's, he's um, two layers, if you can tell, there. And I'm going to um, dunk him into my resin like I do sometimes to get the bubbles out. Not too worried about the bubbles when I'm doing a water scene, but yeah, so it's pretty good. And I'm going to lay him. Oh, gosh, how pretty. It's going to be right there on top of those rocks. Okay. And... Let's see here. I need another one that's kind of also a double layer. So we're going to do this one here. That's all. Oh my gosh, that one's, yeah, that one's still two layers. Oh, it's kind of bent. I don't want them sticking up. So I think it'll be all right. Go ahead and dunk him in there. Okay. All right, now he's there in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of my little greenery stickers here. I'll place one maybe about right here. And okay. And, you know, this might be a little busier than what some of you would do. I'm doing mine are a little bit busy right now because I'm just trying to show you some different ideas. Wouldn't mean that I would normally do it like that. But fish here. These are just plain. These stickers are one, are just one, um, See, I don't want that tall rock right there. Let's see, maybe let's see. Let's fish maybe kind of this way. This way. This way. There we go. That's going to be it for those. And I've got some lily pads here.
Okay, so now I'm going to take, I've got here about almost three ounces of resin. I'm going to go ahead and pour over my goldfish and get this covered up all the way. I'm going to go over the tops of my little li lily pads all of that at least enough to get it to cure in place and then I can come in with a top coat I'm gonna leave about uh, an eighth of an inch or so it looks like and this kind of a little tray is just pretty on a little plate stand or you know if you have it Sometimes if you have a great big mug, it even makes a nice little coaster. I don't think I would use it for a trivet, um, you know, to put a hot, a hot pot on it. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far, but I would put, I would use it for a big mug or actually maybe even a couple of mugs. Maybe a couple of teacups would be kind of fun. All right. I'm going to give it a quick spray of alcohol. And then I'm going to let this cure. And when it's done, I will be back and we will do the next step. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, so I have a little bit of resin left in here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, do a little fish scene with my one of my hearts here. So I'm going to go ahead and put resin in here. So you might have enough to do a couple of them. I think I do. Look at that. I don't have enough to do four. These don't take very much. So, yay. Okay, let's um, go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol in those. Now, what I'm going to do is I went and I got my little teeny tiny, my little tiny fish. And I am going to put some of these fish in here. I'm going to take my gloves off for this, I think. Just be careful. Now, these are the ones that I have to cut out. These are not pre-cut. They're not stickers. So I'm just going to cut them kind of in a circle. Okay, I like that. See these little guys here? Really tiny little guys. I did buy some little tiny fish, but they're not very dark. They're kind of translucent. So I think I'm going to have to do something with those too. And let's see. These little stickers. Put it in here with it. I'm working upside down this time. So I'm going to add one of these. These are these little tufts of grass that I get in the model train section. And I believe these actually came from Michael's, but um, that was a while ago. I know you can get them also on Amazon. They come in a pack of, I don't know, I want to say maybe two or three of these, of these packs here that come with the green and the tan. 
and they're sticky on one side, I'm going to have them face upside down. So maybe, let's see, maybe about there, on that one. Okay, there we go, guys. Here they are. So far, that's what we got. So I'm going to let them cure, and then when they're done, I'll be back, and we'll do the next step. Okay, I'll see you then. Hello, everybody. I'm back. So it's been about a day and a half, and this is completely cured. Um, it's nice and bright. The fish are really pretty in there, and we've got just enough room here to go ahead and cover this up and then we'll be all done with it. I'm excited to see it. I've got eight ounces of J Diction resin is all made up and I've got a few little micro bubbles in there but actually kind of did that on purpose this time because I wouldn't mind having a few little bubbles in here. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and just pour kind of slowly over the fish and I just want it to kind of make sure it's covered everywhere. It doesn't even have to go all the way up to the top. I just want it to be, um, you know, completely flush where the stickers and the little um, lily pads and things are all covered. So I'm just going to take a spatula here and go ahead and, and spread it out. And just real quick, before I forget, here it is a little bit closer. You can see when you add the little extra top layer of resin, the difference in this in the tail here in this section, it's not covered yet. Compared to the part here that is covered, it adds a lot more depth. Just in case you're new. If you've been doing this a while, then you already know all that. But let's see. I can feel just a couple of the little pieces of plant sticking up but not very much okay yeah it's definitely all covered now so i am going to um, that took about an ounce of resin is about all that we put on there and um luckily i've got another project started here oh actually you know what we can go ahead and finish the we can use some of that resin for the puffy hearts. I almost forgot about those. All right, I'm going to give it a quick spray. Not with that one. This one. Okay, I'm going to go put it on my curing rack, and I'll be right back. And then we will start the puffy hearts. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we've got the bigger koi over there. Um, on a level surface going to cure all the way over there and here are our puffy hearts um i am going to take one of my cutoff water bottles here and i'm gonna have to just guess with this i'm gonna say maybe about gosh maybe about an well maybe a couple ounces i don't know I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I want all of our fish and everything to show. So I'm gonna add just a little bit, just a little bit of resin to the bottom. Gosh, this, the resin just gives it so much depth. But you know, when you're putting more resin on top, I just love that. Love that. I, that's why I think I like doing the water, you know, um, water scenes so much. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some white rock to that. And I think I'll just use my little um, plastic spoon here. Make sure I get all the... Got some glitter or something in there, but it's pretty stuck, so 
I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put this in. I think this is going to be really pretty with the white rock behind this. Hopefully it won't make it too heavy. But these puffy hearts are just deep enough to where you can really do stuff like this with it. I really, really enjoy these, as you all know. <laughs> okay, let's see here. know if we want do we want rock up there in the in the little handle part in the loop you know we certainly probably could put a few small pieces in there do you think that would add to it you know I thought about putting a little fish up in there but I think it wouldn't really add to it too much I think it would um, just kind of be see-through and I'm not sure that it would really work the way I would picture. I don't want any rocks sticking up, though. Um, you know, up above when I add the rest of the resin, I want it to be flush. I don't know, you guys. Actually, I think I kind of like it with the... I think I might like it a little bit with a little bit of rock in the handle. I mean, in the little loop. See what I can find. Let me go ahead and add a bit of resin. Up there, around that loop. Might kind of help it um, stay. want it to get too full. It's kind of hard to tell with the white rock and the white mold how full it is, but just trying to get just trying to get it so where we don't um, get in, you know a bunch of big air bubbles around these rocks. So I kind of want to get them poured so I can start watching that part. Now, let's see, pop those down some. This one here might be a bit big. Put that on the side. Give it a quick spray. And go ahead and put a couple of small, whoops, <laughs> that one. That one kind of flung. There we go. I think these, the ones I'm trying to pick out, should sink down all the way. Not very big. All right, so. Now, well, I'm going to go ahead and fill this the rest of the way up. Hopefully, I can do this without overfilling it. Let's see. I'm going to kind of get down here a little bit lower and look at an angle. Okay, see that's looking pretty good. That one I can already see a dome on it. I don't want any bubbles around the edges. All right, okay, you guys, that looks pretty good. Everything is um, kind of domed. Nothing so far. Knock on wood is running over the little spots here 
are all cleared. There's a couple dots of dried resin on there, but not too worried about it. I'm going to move it over now so it can cure. And I will see you back here in the morning and we will demold these. I'm so excited. All right, I will see you then. Hello, everybody. I'm back. So our little koi pond here is completely cured and I'm ready to take it out of here. So there's not, you know, too much surprises when you're working from the bottom up, but um, it's always still nice to get it out of the mold and kind of see how it does. This one I'm excited about because we've got kind of two different kinds of things going on here. So we've got the white with the rock, and then we have the clear with the crushed shell over on the other side of it. And let's see, is that still kind of soft there? Yeah. A little bit soft, just barely, just enough, just kind of soft enough for me to be able to kind of shape it um, a little bit. Pull that out of the way. Gosh, I really like this though. What do you guys think about it? It's really pretty, and I think um, I will put it up on a plate stand, and it'll probably be let's see, uh, probably something like this. About I'll probably set it up like that, and when I get it on there, I will bring you down and show you what that's going to look like. And I'm also thinking that I might go ahead and do a gold edge on this to kind of bring out the fish color. See if I've got, you know, some of the gold edging here on these koi. Let me see if I got any in here. Just enough to do that. My pins are running kind of low. But I kind of... Helps if you're gonna give them a good spray with alcohol. If they're getting low like that, you can get some more life out of them. Okay, it's kind of drippy now, but I'm gonna go ahead and start this and just go all the way around the edge. Sometimes putting this little bit of a gold edging or silver or whatever you're kind of working with can just kind of make your piece look finished. You know, if you ever look at something and think, gosh, I love it, but something just doesn't look complete. Sometimes just putting a little quick edging on it can, can really make all the difference. Okay, so now for those of you who are new to resin um, or haven't done something like this before, this Deco Premium, um, this is my Deco, Deco color. Okay, um, this is my favorite gold leaf pen. And it is at the craft stores, uh, Michael's, usually Hobby Lobby, and I think you can get them on Amazon. But what you do is on something like this, you just take the tip and you just find kind of the halfway mark on your tip there. And you just go put it down on your edge and go all the way around and you can get a really nice finished look. <clears throat> so, yeah, really like this now with that edging on there. I feel like it does look complete and I love it. I love the way it turned out. Um, but I might go ahead and put this up on a plate stand. I really like it. What do you guys think? What do you think of the finished project? You can get some koi stickers um, and decals and things that look a lot more realistic than these. These kind of have a um, little bit of an Asian vibe to them with the gold and everything on it, which I actually really kind of like that. So anyway, here's these. And now... I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to go and grab our puffy hearts and see how those turned out. Okay, here they are. Completely cured. And I have no rocks, nothing sticking out. So we got that all covered really well. So gosh, I'm so excited to see them. Okay, let's 
take one out. I don't think it really matters which one. Oh, it looks like my, my little loop part here is still a little soft. Might be because I've got the rocks in there, so there's not a whole lot of resin room. But I can lay it flat, and that will just turn it back to where it was. These have been curing overnight, so I'm not expecting too much of a problem with that. i got to be careful, though, not to get fingerprints on there. Oh, gosh, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. What do you think about this? Very light out of there. I don't know. I guess we kind of need the light. I'm not sure how to get the ring out of there, though. What do you think? How cute is this? I bought some white leather. Um, what do you call that? Like this, not string, but not twine. Oh, well. What is it? Like leather rope or something to, um, to make pendants out of these? Or I might make a keychain or something out of them too, but oh my gosh, cute. That turned out really cute. I like that. Put that back down on there. I'm not sure why that's um, still feeling a bit soft. Maybe I will um, actually need, you know what I need? Sometimes when that happens, I like to take just a clean, um, little plastic wrap from something that I've taken out. Usually it's stickers or something, but something that's got a shiny, clear background. And you can get those to kind of um, go ahead and cure out a little bit better. Yeah, I'm really kind of surprised that these are not cured all the way because they've been sitting for about, oh gosh, I don't know. Not quite 12 hours, probably about 11 hours or so. But it could be that's kind of cool in my room here. But here's this one. And here's this one. Gosh, I just love these. What do you think about those little green tufts? <clears throat> these little tufts here. These are the things that I get in the model train section. And... Yeah, it's super cute. Our little fish are showing up really well with the white rocks. Yeah, super happy with that. Really cute. Really cute. Let's see this one here. They're all the, pretty much the same, just a little bit different designs on them. It's this one. This way. cute. Gosh, it's going to be hard to pick up my favorite one of these, I think. I don't want to be careful taking these out of here with the rocks in there. I don't want to pull it all out of proportion. Here's the last one. Really, really cute. They all turned out great. I love them all. Yep. Um, I would say that this was a really fun, really fun project. And I would say it's great success, really. Here they all four are. Turn them around. There they are. Okay. Well, you know, everybody, I am getting ready to um, go on a little adventure even though i'm still kind of getting over my cold i am heading out today to go on a road trip for a couple of days i'm expecting my third grandchild here just in a few days so i'm going to be heading out and driving that direction but i'm going to take some resin with me i'm so behind on my projects my my um cold really really set me behind but i'm going to bring my resin with me and i'm going to see if I can get a few projects done while I'm gone. So anyway, I hope you come back and join me and I've got some really fun things in store. So yeah, thanks for joining me and I will bring you down off of my camera stand to show you that larger, um, the larger one on the play stand. Okay. All right. I will see you all soon and have a great weekend. Take care.